with the with the duality of, of yeah. this piece a little bit. Hi, this is a really interesting painting for me for many reasons. One of the big reasons is that Annie Hayes decided to take it from a rolled up condition 10 years in a place where it never was seen. It was once seen in 1997 in a faculty show, in my show, in an art department at the School of Georgia, the School of Art in Georgia. Meanwhile, it was rolled up and hidden and forgotten. Annie had the wisdom to say he wants to take that out and frame it. So he built a stretcher and a magnificent job that only a museum person could do for $2,000. <laughs> Meanwhile, once he put it out again, I could once again see what was done. And this was during the time when I was making severe color choices that were coming from pure color, like Joseph Elbers, that had inspired me a few years before this with his pure color. And meanwhile, in this image, there are many symbols. One is night and day, night, day. So the dialectic of night and day was a theme, a symbolic theme in my art. And it also stood for the night and day in Vietnam. It's, it's filled with all kinds of feelings about night and day in Vietnam, which are different. And meanwhile, flying a helicopter over to Tainan, which is the city near a mountain called Nui Ba Den. And it is also next to the the temple, the Khao Dai Temple. The Khao Dai Temple was founded in 1926 with all the monks in the region in South Vietnam coming every Friday, every week in their Catholic, Buddha, Confucius robes. So it was a temple for all the religions. And in it they had Jesus Christ, Buddha, Mohammed, a little Mohammed, and they had dinosaur worship for ancestry, and they had the ceiling where the eye of the universal was over all. And I was in there in 1994, and it was explained to me by a South Vietnamese woman. And when I saw the eye in the ceiling, it was overwhelming. And all the monks were in from all that area. And it had become then a symbol in my work. But this was on the trip over the terrain toward Tainan, the city. Victor Hugo was a saint in there. So was Winston Churchill. So was Joan of Arc. It's all reflective of the French colonization in the 18th, 19th century. However, the uh, romance of it all was on any kind of flying into that area. You knew you were in history. And while this daytime flight over to Tainan is dialectic with the night. So this is a mirror of that. Up above is also the tape of the studio work, but it comes from clouds that were to be shaped by the paint. And instead of shaping clouds by the paint, I left the tape up there and imitated it. Meanwhile, this is all reflective of studio activity. And this is all involved with dialectic of night and day, but also the undertone of Vietnam, the river, the Saigon River, and the parapets for the hamlets are in the painting, the mud of the rice paddies, and the night and the day. So it's all, Vietnam is all flying. Every time I flew over there, we would go to pick up troops for some combat assault.
and it was all exciting. But everything was under control because everyone was a professional.